I just felt like the Holy Spirit or God maybe wanted me to share this joke with everyone. Um, it's, I did not make the joke. I don't know who made it, but I did not write the joke. Um, okay, this person gets shipwrecked, just this one person. And they're, they have, they're swimming in open sea. Obviously, that's, you know, all kinds of dangers and other things like that. They're swimming in open sea. And they say to God, God, help me. God, help me. Praying. Please help me. And along comes this little, this cruise ship. It goes by. They stop and say, hey, man, do you, do you need help? Do you need a life raft? Or do you need a life ring? He says, no, I'm waiting for God to save me. It goes by. He's swimming, again, in open sea, all kinds of dangers. God, please help me. Help me. And along comes a, a, um, like, Coast Guard boat. And they say, do you need help? Do you need a life ring? Do you, do you need us to help you? He says, no, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on God to save me. It goes along. Along comes this little fishing boat. Um, and they say, do you need help? Do you need a life room? Do you need us to help you? He says, no, I'm waiting on God to save me. And unfortunately, the man dies because he can't swim any longer. Maybe a shark eats him. Maybe he, he dies of dehydration. Um, but, and he goes to heaven. And when he goes to heaven and it comes to God and he said, and he says, God, why did you not save me? And God said, I sent you three boats and you told them no. So if you have the ability to swim and do things and God gives you, you grow up in God and you're at, you're an old, you're a more mature Christian, and you have the ability to do things, but you refuse to, don't get mad at the universe, don't get mad at God, because you refuse to use the gifts and things that he has given you, or learn to use the gifts and things he gives you, or learn from the lessons or things that are coming at you.